documentary about these incidents of law enforcement shooting people's pet dogs, making its world premiere at the Austin Film Festival, November 1st and 2nd, so people can go to austinfilmfestival.com uh, to learn more about the schedule and the festival, and they can go to dogsandmen.net to see the trailer and, uh, and learn more about the film, and um, we hope to see you there. Very good, and that's very important to support these filmmakers that are making things that are important to you, the viewer. So if you can't go out to uh, the world premiere, at least go check out the website, take a look at the trailer. I'm guessing they can share it on social media or some other means just to get the word out there because you were telling me off camera, if you can get enough uh, interest in the film, you may have a better chance of picking up a distributor. We also wanna to emphasize to people that we haven't forgotten that we're making a film here. I mean, the issue is very important and we are trying to shine a light on it. And I think all of that is going to happen, but also we, we, we have not forgotten that it is a film. It is a wonderful experience. It's been described to us as, as tears of sadness at the start and tears of joy at the end. So I, I just mentioned that because I know there are people out there who are afraid of the film, I think because of what they think they're going to see. And uh, we just want to encourage people to, to give it a chance. It's, it's a beautiful film. It's, believe it or not, it is an optimistic, hopeful story. And that is how we feel about this issue as well. It can be solved. Well, thank you so much, Michael Ozias of Dogs and Men. Definitely go check it out and check out the websites as well. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jakari. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact, nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. And why wearing a Hillary for President t-shirt might get you punched in the face. They thought it said Hillary for president. He said, I was seconds away from sending my bar back over here to, to punch you in the face. Since you're wearing a Hillary for prison shirt, you don't have to buy drinks here. Everything's on the house. Hillary for president. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. They're not saying that. Thank you. Have a Donald Trump endorses Hillary for prison. Get your Hillary for prison 2016 t-shirt at the InfoWars store. And on the back, it says legalize freedom. Show your disapproval of Hillary by buying your t-shirt today. But what she's done is criminal. This is an American president. Just add puppet, then vote and repeat every four years. One of the things to watch tonight, of course, they're going to talk about the economy. How do you talk about the economy without talking about the massive federal debt? And today, what they did was they passed an extension of the debt ceiling. Remember when they did that before, Barack Obama said, well, we haven't spent any money, you know, just passing the debt ceiling. That doesn't so mean raising anything. the debt ceiling doesn't raise the debt. <laughs> that's right. It allows them to raise the debt. It doesn't technically. See, that's how they parse their words, you know, when they do that. Now, remember that it was in 2011 that the deficit was at uh at uh, sorry, the debt was at fourteen trillion dollars. Today they have pushed it up to twenty trillion dollars. That's a forty-three percent increase in just four years, and that's what we've got to look at. That's the GOP elephant in the room that they don't want to talk about. The fact that they are so, that on the same page with Obama, that they're both moving us further and further into debt. You know, I am. Uh, 
by my nature impatient, and this is not a uh, as big as weakness as uh, his name is Bush. That, uh, yeah, that that. his you brother. Be patient. You they call be me Jeb, and I earned that. that. He said before. But his but daddy financed the Nazis. His brother helped to bring in 9/11, signed the Patriot Act. His grandfather was a founder of Planned Parenthood, working with the longer singer. Senator Paul. Slammer to the floor. Only two people really answered. Baron Harkonnen speaks. Because I was concerned about an 18 trillion dollar debt. We borrow a million dollars a minute. Now on the floor of the Congress, the Washington establishment from both parties puts forward a bill that will explode the deficit. It allows President Obama to borrow unlimited amounts of money. I will stand firm. I will spend every ounce of energy to stop it. I will begin tomorrow to filibuster it, and I ask everyone in America to call Congress tomorrow and say, enough's enough, yeah. no more debt. Well, gee, after the last debate, I was told that I didn't smile enough. Uh, so we can't tell when she's smiling. I think that these are very serious times. 75% of the American people think the federal government is corrupt. I agree with them. And this big, powerful, corrupt bureaucracy works now only for the big, the powerful, the wealthy, and the wealthy. What are you going to do about it? Except she worked for Michael Hayden to help spy on the American people. Yeah. Just Americans who've quit looking for work for 40 years. Bill Packard biometric data. Mm -hmm. Government. This is about more than replacing a D with an R. We need a leader who will help you us. You know, surveillance equipment. They should help people look for jobs. <laughs> they they like to find all the now hiring signs. Yeah, I know. Find me a job, then, guy. You got these blimps up in the air. We're gonna build a wall. We're gonna create a border. We're gonna let people in, but they're gonna come in legally. They're going to come in legally, and it's something that can be done. They built the Great Wall of China. That's 13,000 miles. Here we actually need 1,000 because we have natural barriers. So we need 1,000. We can do a wall. We're going to have a big... That would be the good time right to, the since we're talking about economics, talk about the economic incentives that are going to bring people in here whether or not you build a wall. We just saw this happen in Europe. Hungary completely closed their border. What happened? People went through Slovenia and Croatia because they're going to go to Germany. They're going to go to Sweden. They're going to get there however they can, as long as they're going to get a pot of gold from the entitlement state. So that's the problem, and they want to address that. You know, 19th century, 18th century walls are not going to stop this. Yeah, I don't think a uh, wall, if we, for any, but not just Trump saying this, I don't think a physical wall is going to do the job. 30 seconds. <laughs> First of all, John got lucky with a thing called fracking, okay? He hit oil. He got lucky with fracking. Believe me, that's why Ohio is doing well. Number, and that's important for you to know. Number two, this is the man that was a managing general partner at Lehman Brothers when it went down the tubes and almost took every one of us with us, including Ben and myself. Because I was there and I watched what happened, and Lehman Brothers started it all. He was on the board and he was a managing <laughs> general partner. Okay. And just thirdly, I he think was so Kasich's nice. guts are on the floor he was right such now. Such a nice guy. <laughs> I think he's bleeding out. Oh, I'm yeah. never going to attack. But then <laughs> he's told now he's about to attack hey, Trump for his casino. That's why he's on the end. I think Trump just is this way. got nasty. So you know what? You can have him. Okay, <laughs> let, me just, let me. Let, yeah, let me. Let me just. He got let, me, let me respond. Oh. First of all. Uh, I believe that our Constitution protects everybody, regardless of their sexual orientation or any other aspect. I also believe that marriage is between one man and one woman, and that there is no reason that you can't uh, be perfectly fair to the gay community. They shouldn't automatically assume that because you believe that marriage is between one man and one woman, that you are a homophobe. And this is one of the myths that the left perpetrates on our society. And this is how they frighten people and get people to shut up. You know, that's what the PC culture is all about, and it's destroying this nation. All right, uh, I'm sorry, Kit, we cut you off. Uh, what, what other thoughts did you have over there at the Twitter station? You've been a fierce critic of the arguing for- Well, like I said earlier, the uh, Republicans are always constantly, you know, they're pushing these uh, so-called issues that they want to push, you know, about social security and so-called gutting uh, government spending. But like David said before, the real issue is the Federal Reserve. Because, I mean, they can talk and talk, but it's all meaningless as long as there's a Federal Reserve that's basically kind of like a farmer that's feeding the fat goose of the government. So as long as there is, you know, this Federal Reserve system in place. Hey, they're talking about that right now, Kit. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> let's pick up, let's <laughs> let's pick up with this. Let's hear what they have to say. And this star chamber. That, that, that has been engaging in this incredible experiment of quantitative easing, QE1, QE2, QE3, QE infinity, 
And the people who are being impacted, you know, a question that was asked earlier, Becky asked, was about working women. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. You look at on Wall Street, the Fed is doing great. But if you look at working men and women, if you look at a single mom buying groceries, she sees hamburger prices have gone up near nearly 40 percent. She sees her cost of electricity going up. She sees her health insurance going up. And loose money is one of the major problems. We need sound money. And I think the Fed should get out of the business of trying to juice our economy and simply be focused on sound money and monetary stability, ideally tied to gold. Oh, well, thank you very much. Whoa. I'd like to thank Ted for co-sponsoring my bill, Audit the Fed. And I think it's precisely because of the arrogance of someone like Ben Bernanke, who now calls us all know-nothings, that's precisely why we need Audit the Fed. I think it is really a, a very much a, a huge problem that an organization as powerful as the Fed comes and lobbies against them being audited on the Hill. I would prevent them from lobbying Congress. I don't think the Fed should be involved with lobbying us. I think we should examine how the Fed has really been part of the problem. You want to study income inequality? Let's bring the Fed board and talk about Fed policy and how it causes income inequality. Let's also bring the Fed forward and have them explain how they caused the housing boom and the crisis and what they've done to make us better or worse. I think the Fed has been a great problem in our society. What you need to do is free up interest rates. Interest rates are the price of money. and We shouldn't have price controls on the price of money. Thank you, Senator. They've destroyed 99% of our purchasing power in 100 years as well. Much of the discussion is centered over whether or not the different tax plans help or affect the middle class. In fact, it's the chief argument by Democrats against many of the different flat tax proposals. Mine is unique in the sense that my tax plan actually gets rid of the payroll tax as well. It shifts it to the business and it would allow middle class people to get a tax cut. That's disappointing so because say, any business taxes are ultimately passed on to the public in either higher product costs or in lower wage increases. That's very disappointing. That would be rampant. Don't you think? We have $19 trillion <laughs> really in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al-Qaeda so attacking us. I can't believe we're, we're talking, talking about, about fantasy, fantasy football. football. <laughs> yeah. That's the first time you've said yeah. something, Chris, that I can agree with. You, you deserve a dollar. <laughs> the government to do what they're supposed to be doing secure our borders protect our people and support american values and american families enough on fantasy football let people play who cares i thought it's just a total lack of outside the box thinking when it came to medicaid or came to taxation or whatever i guess i should say a lack of outside of Washington DC thinking. Well, as we often talk about, you know, it's it's the same template as a Fiorina pointed out multiple times. She was talking about how they just keep saying the same things that they've been saying for the last election yeah. cycles. But at the same time, nobody's offering any real type of uh, policy change or I would go in here, I'd fix this, I'd do that. They talk about the problem. Everybody knows there's a problem. Yeah. People who don't watch this debate know that those there's a problem just because they go through it on their daily lives. We all agree that there is a problem, but very few people had any type of answer and the answers they did have sometimes weren't exactly the best. Look, I just wanna get serious <laughs> with you guys. I came into this and I had some real concerns. An issue, one particular issue, I just wanted some answers about, and that's the direction our country is going with fantasy football. And we brought that up today in the GOP debate. That's right. I mean, by God. I we, mean, I think everybody at the at the wing stop in Buffalo Wild Wings are, you know, sighing a great sigh of relief. That's it for tonight's news. Thanks for joining us. This has been our live coverage of the third GOP debate. I'm David Knight with Jakari Jackson and Joe Biggs. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, that's it for tonight's news. Join us again tomorrow night at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's 19.95.
you take one or two of these and it just is really clean restful sleep is what the reviews are it's what i've experienced and it just synergistically puts everything in there infowarslife.com that's infowarslife.com or call 888-253-3139 you are watching the infowars nightly news which airs 7 p.m central at infowarsnews.com and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide